one of the greatest tools of evangelism. And I think it works like this. Unbelievers see the love that we have for one another and they say, wow, I want to be a part of that. Jesus says, by this all people will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Show love and do good for all people, yes, indeed, but especially to your brothers and sisters in your faith. At the end of our gospel reading, Jesus sums things up and says simply, These things I command you, that you love one another. Period. Now we know the source of our love for one another. It is Jesus' love for us. And ultimately it's the love that the Father has for the Son and the Son has for the Father. But what does love in one another look like in everyday life? How does it play out? Well, Scripture has a lot to say about this. Let me rattle off a few points. Consider others more important than yourself. Philippians 2. Visit orphans and widows in their affliction. James 1. Feed the hungry, welcome the stranger, clothe the naked, visit the sick and those in prison. Matthew 25. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Matthew 7. Now one of the best things you can do to remember how we love one another is to memorize Luther's small catechism and especially his explanation of the Ten Commandments. It's true. For example, for example, the seventh commandment, you shall not steal. What does this mean? We should fear and love God so that we do not take our neighbor's money or possessions or give them in any dishonest way, but help him to improve and protect his possessions and income. Now that's love. That's loving one another. Now, as we go about loving each other, we need to be abiding in Jesus. Jesus says in verse 9, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. Abide in my love. It was already mentioned earlier that you need the Holy Spirit to truly love others. Well, the Holy Spirit is ours as we abide in Jesus and His love. What does it mean to abide in Jesus' love? To abide in Jesus' love is the same thing as to abide in Jesus' divine. We looked at last week where Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. The branches that God, the Father, the gardener, wants fruit to come forth. Good works. And so this is how it plays out. Remember, abiding in Jesus' love, abiding in the vine means we are believing in Him. We are trusting in Him and in His forgiveness of our sins. We have faith in Him. And since the chief exercise of faith or belief is to receive, to abide in Jesus means that we are regularly, constantly, receiving from Jesus through the Word as it is spoken to us, as it is preached and taught to us. It means that we are regularly receiving from Jesus through the sacraments of baptism and the Holy Supper, we are receiving always grace upon grace. That is abiding in Jesus' love. That is abiding in the vine. And then you will find yourself loving others without even thinking about it. If you want something lovely and profound to think about, and indeed, Scripture encourages us to do this. It asks us to think about whatever is true, honorable, just, and lovely. Then there is nothing more true, lovely, and profound as the love that exists between Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity. 
the three in one, they live in perfect communion with one another. The Holy Trinity does not need any one or anything else to be complete. Unlike us. The Holy Trinity is already beautiful, lovely, honorable, and profoundly mysterious. And yet it is the love that the Father has for the Son that is the beginning of the love that God has for the world, for us, that He sent His one and only Son, so that whoever believes in Him would have eternal life. It is the love that the Father has for the Son that sent Jesus to the cross to die for your sins and mine. It is the love that the Father and the Son have for the Holy Spirit that all believers receive Him as comforter and guide. Oh, blessed the Holy Trinity. We all believe in one true God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Ever present help in need, praised by all the heavenly host. All he made his love enfolds, all creation he upholds. We all believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God and Mary's Son, who descended from his throne and for us salvation won, by whose cross and death are we rescued from all misery. We all confess the Holy Ghost, who from both in truth proceeds, who sustains and comforts us in all trials, fears, and needs. Blessed Holy Trinity, praise forever. Be to thee. Amen.